I understand this is the third in a series of books that you've published, all focusing on resonance. Yes. So, so tell us how you got interested in resonance and, you know, what does resonance, what is it? Uh, what does it mean to you? All of that. Well, what's so interesting about language is that the words that we use are almost like the neurotransmitters that travel in our brains. So you and I have all these neurons in our brains that are carrying information from one to the other. And here we are separated from each other's neurons. How do we communicate neuron to neuron, even though we have separate skulls? And the words that we use bring different kinds of neurochemicals between us. So if I use words that conjure up and bring us together in warmth, then that changes our neurochemicals for each of us. So resonance is the experience of being with others and, and, and really kind of tuning into and reflecting what we understand about them. And the other person saying, yes, you understand me. Sort of like we are cellos vibrating together. Yeah, often in these interviews, I'll feel um, a special connection with my guests. And uh, I don't think I ever applied resonance to it. What have I thought of it as empathy or something like that? Yeah. Uh, Yeah, but the word resonance really fits well, I think, for what you're talking about. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. And so, how, what's your history with resonance? How did you become, uh, what, you know, interested in that? It, it came actually through my study of nonviolent communication, which changed, that came from my longing to change the world. That was like, how the heck do we change the world? And I got yeah. Marshall Rosenberg's book, Speak Peace. And I was like, this is cool stuff. I'm going to go investigate this. Uh-huh. And I went off to a Marshall Rosenberg workshop and, um, and people were talking in a really weird way that was not familiar to me. And, as people were talking to me about stuff that was important to me, I felt my brain changing. And I was like, what is going on here? (laughs) (laughs) So that started me on, it was right. It it was really a good time to start wondering about brains because this was right after a 10 year period where in the United States, lots of, lots of learning centers, lots of universities had received grants to get MRI machines. And they'd all started to look at how do we, change each other's brains? How do relationships affect us? How are we changed by relational connection? And so many of these researchers discovered wonders, really, about the way in which when we use language in certain ways with each other, brains change. Amygdala is calm. Trauma is healed. Wow. And so I was like, what, how do we talk about this? How do we write about it? How do we teach it? How do we practice it? What happens when we practice it? And that was my resonance journey was like, wow, 